Now to chop up that fine light tisk tisk. Who the hell would do this to their car? Look, looking good so far. Well, now ready for the final modification to make this thing handle and drive and tip correctly. The struts. Have to remove each one as, as shown. And everybody knows who works on old Honda Accords that their front springs break. So of course I saved them because you can always beef up your car's front suspension or rear by taking off the original spring putting one inside and having a dual spring front end and I do that with my handy dandy homemade spring compressing tool so it's actually pretty simple then the thing rides level and isn't dragging the oil pan on the ground when we put all that weight up there well that was really easy now I just gotta slip that one on well I just had to nip a tiny bit more off my cutting wheel grinder now just to slip it all back in. Now to unclamp the pressure with my handy dandy air tool. Just unspin those two bolts that holds everything together and we have dual springs. Just what it needs. Well, there's what she looks like. Just see sure she's all bolted up. Okay, the time has come. It's finally completed. And today I spent 4.5 hours. So we have a total of about 17 and a half hours into this thing I think let's take a look I haven't even had a test drive in it yet One thing I didn't notice is the front end of the 91 Cavalier is four or five inches longer than the front end of the older Cavaliers because I had to cut the hood out a whole lot and the dimensions haven't changed at least not for my attachment Ladder is on. Of course, who needs driving controls inside? Gear shifters just for looks. And I'll show you the technical workings now, how all that linkage is hooked up. Considering when you stand back, it all looks so simple, but everything works up there. So up there we have the ignition with a Chrysler Omni steering column and gear shifter and power brakes and radio and electrical functions so a shifter cable comes down and of course it's not long enough so I added an extension bar and that goes to a homemade pivoting linkage system and then it attaches to the gear shifter cable for the automatic transmission that comes off here so when this one goes up and down it pushes that one back and forth then there's a throttle cable which is just for the little twist handles on a garage door and this is a roller off a Kenmore or English dryer keeps the belt tight and that's where it sends the energy around to the throttle cable which is the stock one on the car and the two are tied together goes through a little tube that clears the radiator hydraulic brake lines and I shouldn't be showing you this but since I'm a refrigeration technician, I don't own a flaring kit, so they're all welded together, and that works well. Who needs rear brakes at David's Farm? This car's always so rear end. This car's always so rear end light. Rear brakes are ineffective, anyways, and it's more spectacular on video when you're doing your stop endos, and the rear wheels are still spinning. And this copper tube is just vacuum for the power rear brake booster still up there. I had to make a sort of a secure mount to hold the cable for the shifter of the transmission and this is the cap off of a Chrysler that the cotter key goes through to keep the axle nuts on tight and that's a Chrysler axle nut with a slot cut out of it so it can go over the cable and it's sort of welded in so it holds the cable from moving either direction. Of course a cut in the hood for the steering shaft. It's got no front turn signals to accommodate the poles and steering rack is flipped over to point the other way of course with the original factory u-joint in there and double spring 
front suspension. Almost looks like dampener coils in a performance engine. So now as you can see, looking at wheel wells, the front and back sit level, even though there's an extra 400 pounds on the front end. And that's not including all the people we can put up there. All right, this is it, maiden voyage. Walking the plank. We got Rickham filming. <sighs> my life or my death, I don't know. Could be the dead neck roller coaster someday. Death is ratings. Yeah, oh yeah, death and blood is ratings. So is cops. But it'll be my channel that gets it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, a little bit of throttle stickage. Comes back slowly. Might need a better return spring. Oh well, minor bugs. Oh, we have reverse. It's awful windy today, but we'll do our best. It lives. No, we're off. Here we go. We're off. Oh, it's definitely quieter and tighter than the old one. That's for sure. You can tell this car must really be true. It only has 110,000 kilometers. Feels like driving a new car. The other one sat outside for 10 years, you know. Oh wow, this is nice. Reverse. An audience already? Sweet. Forward. Oh, now we're going to go into the wind. That sucks. He's working great. Every day is windy. I think she's perfect, needs no mods. Are you going to try it first endo? It won't do an endo with one person, it takes two or three. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, okay, hop on board, driver. Sweet. You don't need a license to drive this thing. Nope. That's really good. Uh, the bearings in the steering shaft are a little tight, but that's not the redneck roller coaster's fault. That's just that thing's been sitting outside for ten years, or nine years. But don't try an endo because I'm holding a camera. That's coil spring. No, it. that's from the rear. Really? I don't know what, or, no, that's, oh yeah, that's the front. I warned yeah. you about that. Sometimes I might have to spray oil on them. Yeah, they did that at that's first on the other one. Yeah, the coil's rubbing. Sweet. Styling, eh? <laughs> Fucking styling. <laughs> Long hair blowing in the wind. Ah. <laughs> oh, the skull's on too. Oh yeah, got the skull on too. With a 50 beer hat. <laughs> and we got our audience. <laughs> yep. It's a good thing about having a farm on a major highway. Oh, I know. Yeah, always spectators. <laughs> you never know who's gonna pull in and meet you. Yep. Or offer you a beer. Yeah, it's a bit stiff. Oh well, one adjustment for this whole creation? Yeah. That's not much, eh? It's awesome. It lives! It's alive! <laughs> <laughs>